This is Brand Insider. We take you inside brands, thought leaders, and innovators to discover strategies, insight, and perspective that help drive success in today's market. Ken Chaplin is the Senior Vice President of Marketing at Experian Consumer Services, the leading provider of online consumer credit-related information and protection products. He is also responsible for marketing communications and operations for multiple company brands, including FreeCreditScore.com. Ken shares his insight and experience on how complex subjects can become fun and entertaining marketing campaigns. Shot on location at the Crown Plaza, Costa Mesa, Orange County. Specifically in the area that I'm responsible for, credit reports, credit scores, and, and financial monitoring, it's a crowded marketplace. It's one that doesn't necessarily differentiate between competitors. Uh, and we found ourselves stuck in that mire of trying to uh, get people to check their scores, trying to engage with the reports, and said there must be a better way to do this. There must be a way to make us break through the clutter. And we tried uh, a different path, and that's uh, when we launched the campaign with the band. Um, around free credit report uh, or in the early days uh, with a band singing about very relatable messages, things that people could understand, uh, whether that's having a job you didn't like, a car that wasn't the one you aspired to, or perhaps even having to live in your girlfriend's basement. Situational analysis that were humorous, uh, but also very importantly memorable. Memorable is, is key to it as well because when the need comes up for someone to get a credit report or a credit score, we wanted to be top of mind. So frequency of advertising, um, reach across many different mediums, and memorability uh, were key to our success. To make uh, the spots memorable, to make them engaging, we start from a point of understanding our potential consumer and understanding what drives that individual. Uh, we go to extensive lengths to understand their media consumption habits, what their day would look like, what their attitudes are and their behaviors are around given subjects and tailor our messaging, tailor our jingles, tailor our content uh, to that specific audience. The main messaging for us, again, of trying to make the complex less scary and, and less mysterious is, is finding a, a way that's the, the, that unwraps some of those or unlocks some of those mysteries. And, and certainly music, song, and relatable circumstances were, were one way to do that. Um, when we start talking about specific demographics, however, um, you know, certainly having the, having the ability to talk to a wide range beyond just 18 to 49 uh, was part of what we wanted to do. So the memorability factor there um, is what came into play from both a frequency uh, and a reach standpoint. So taking that all into uh, consideration, looking at our media mix of, of TV, of social, of uh, blogs, and other sorts of content, Having relatable characters also meant they're engaging characters. When people are engaged with the characters, they care about the characters. They want to talk about the characters, and it changes the conversation. So by having a, having a band out there um, allows people to, to log on to our Facebook page and, and ask about what this band does, ask about the characters, wonder about what their day's like, wonder about uh, what they're doing, and gives us another engagement uh, point that may be outside of the traditional uh, credit score and credit report. That wraps up this edition of Brand Insider. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let us hear from you. Brand Insider, are you in?